Information this morning on the fight over the Taxpayer Protection Act. The Election Commission essentially wants to speed up the appeals process to find out sooner if you'll be voting on a referendum this year. And News Channel 5's Cole Johnson live for us in Nashville. And Cole, how are they going about doing this? Hey, good morning, Amy. So the Election Commission just filed an appeal to the Tennessee Supreme Court to take up their case immediately. Now it's in the court's hands whether they move on it right away or if they take the longer route, making it play out in the court system, which can take months. And we know that this issue can be kind of complicated if you're unfamiliar with it. So I'm going to break it down as simply as I can. It all really focuses on property tax increases in Davidson County. This became a huge issue last year when Metro's budget was approved with a 34% property tax hike in it. The group for good government wanted to keep that from ever happening again, but two versions of the act have already been struck down by the courts. There are two sides to this new court fight over a third attempt, the county's election commission and the Metro government. Last week, a chancellor struck down the referendum to limit tax hikes, and now the election commission is appealing that. They even set an election date for September 21st in case they win this appeal. Mayor Cooper has criticized the referendum and the use of taxpayer dollars on continued litigation that two judges already called unconstitutional. An election commission chair says it's worth it to hear from a higher court to get certainty. But again, we have to wait and see what the state Supreme Court decides. But we'll be sure to keep you updated on that on air and online as soon as it becomes available. Reporting live in Nashville, Cole Johnson, News Channel 5.